I'd like to chat today a bit about public relations and propaganda. So public relations or propaganda, I'm going to kind of use those terms interchangeably in this context, basically refers to when we, we put out information that is not objective, uh, we put it out with a design to get people to believe a certain thing, not necessarily dishonest, it's just has a slant to it, a, a twist, a, a spin, again, typically propaganda is not a bold-faced lie. There's always at least a little bit of truth in it, in my experience. And it's not always a bad thing. When the, the grocery store says we have fresh lettuce, uh, and then they, they put the head of lettuce up there, and the person holding it is a bodybuilder. They're showing this head of lettuce. That's propaganda. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. Uh, it's kind of up to each individual to be smart enough to know when they see propaganda that it is propaganda and to go beyond it. The reason I bring this up is because it can be used against one's own beliefs or, or worldview, and it can also be used to help oneself. And there are some moral issues about whether or not one should use propaganda. And where is that line? And I would say that if I look sharp when I give a talk, that could be propaganda. I'm making an action. I'm doing something to help influence people to like what I'm delivering better than if I showed up disheveled. disheveled. Um, that's kind of, sort of, maybe arguably propaganda. Uh, it's not as strong as some of the other forms of propaganda. However, I think it's worth examining this moral issue of it. How far are, are we willing to go? What is moral? What is not moral? What's what does our community find the ethics to be of this? And I personally think that morality is very important. And I believe that Carl Watner has in his newsletter, The, the Voluntarist, longest running libertarian publication. Awesome. If you haven't seen it or subscribed to it, do so. You can get the paper copy or see it on the website as well. But I digress. There's a saying that he has on his website that kind of goes against the ends justify the means. And it, it says... Uh, if one takes care of the means, the ends will take care of themselves. And I think that that's very true. I've got to tell you, I'm tempted at times to do things that um, go against my, my principles in order to achieve a different ends. And there are all kinds of great excuses uh, to do this. Reasons or excuses, but something that we all have to take a look at. Uh, so I just I encourage you to think about that. Uh, I'm going to have another second part to this little mini propaganda series, uh, at least one more part, and talk about some of uh, the examples that I see in my favorite uh, libertarianish event, Anarchapoco. And I'll talk a little bit about how PR could be enhanced. <laughs>